If you have been paying attention to this year's NBA playoffs, you may have seen some of Stephen Curry's heroic fourth quarter performances and wondered how the heck does he make it look so easy. Curry crossover, three pointer, bang! The answer obviously starts with his obsessive work ethic. I mean, he's been known to make at least 500 shots during the offseason and up to 300 shots a day during the season. But there are a lot of other guys in the NBA who work extremely hard on their craft. So what makes Steph so different? From what I have seen, it's his ability to drop into super deep flow state experiences. Throughout this video, I'll explain what a flow state is and how Curry uses his mental state to be one of the most dominant and clutch shooters of our time. To get started, let's define what a flow state is. Named by positive psychologist Milhe Chishnamihai, a flow state, also known as being in the zone, is the mental state of operation in which a person performing an activity is fully immersed in a feeling of energized focus, full involvement, and enjoyment in the process of the activity. Flow state is by far the optimal state of mind for peak performance in basketball or any other discipline. In this video, you will learn how Curry gets into flow and how you can too. I have identified 12 triggers that play a role in Curry's ability to get into flow and perform his best in the biggest moments. Let's get into them. We will start with intensely focused attention. This literally means focusing on one thing and letting go of everything else. To get into flow, Steph needs to focus only on the current task of the present moment. In this upcoming clip, Steph will share just how narrow his focus gets when it comes to shooting the basketball. I look where the rim and the net meet. Put that basketball right on those hooks, and that's what I lock in on. Next, having clear goals, shared with his team of course, are extremely important for staying locked in enough to maintain flow state. The macro goal is to win the game, but beyond that, Steph needs to be locked into the play that is being run on every possession. If he's not, he risks losing the hyper-focused flow state connection he has with himself and his teammates. Being aware of the immediate feedback Steph is receiving on the court plays a vital role in staying locked into his zone. Meaning, if he sees a defense setting up a certain way or a double team coming, he needs to automatically know what his next move will be. This type of reaction only comes through countless hours of preparation and practice. The challenge skill ratio needs to be in balance for Steph to unlock his flow state. Meaning, he needs the right amount of stress so he's not bored, nor is he overwhelmed. That sweet spot right in the middle is where Steph thrives, and this is evident when you see him take over games in the fourth quarter in overtime. With so much championship experience under his belt, he thrives in those big moments. Steph needs high consequences for him to fully lock into his zone. There needs to be something considerable at stake. But well, we can really feel the difference between a fan base and a, or an arena that's really engaged and really you know, about what's going on on the floor versus sometimes they get a little checked out or whatnot. Yeah. And that's why you see his performance dip in the regular season games that aren't do or die versus when he's in the playoffs and his season is on the line. A rich environment is necessary for anyone who wants to get into flow and Steph is no different. Meaning he needs to be in a situation where there's some novelty and high stakes. Fortunately, no basketball game plays out exactly like another. So this is almost always at play when he's competing. Deep embodiment is what it means to feel fully present and aware in your physical body. Steph is a master of this when he gets into his flow. He is so deeply embodied in the experience that his performance looks almost effortless. He becomes one with the experience and is in a state of pure play. Serious concentration is fairly straightforward, but it becomes more complex when you're on a team. As a leader, Steph needs to be aware whether his teammates are locked in. Having the whole team in group flow unlocks even greater potential for Steph at the individual level. I told Quinn, I, when I was on the bench in the first half, I just looked, the look in, he didn't make any shots in the first half, but just the look in his eye, like he knew he was ready for that moment and that's contagious, that confidence and uh, that energy, so. Good communication is also fairly straightforward, but again, it comes to working well as a team. Basketball is a group sport that requires group flow for the team to perform its best. Constant communication keeps everyone connected and locked into the present moment. Familiarity comes down to having every one of Steph's teammates on the same page. If X happens, then the whole team needs to know that Y is the appropriate response. This shared language allows Steph and his teammates to get into group flow. Risk 
is an important element that must be involved when pursuing a flow state experience as an individual or as a team. Steph needs to know that the stakes are high, and if he doesn't perform well, then there will be consequences. My team didn't win. I didn't play my best. That's not going to be the end of the story. It's just kind of, you know, a down, down chapter in the book. So the risk involved keeps him engaged enough to enter into flow state at any moment. One of the biggest flow factors that leads to Curry's success is his sense of control, meaning he knows that in the biggest moments of the game, he has a freedom to take over the game while also knowing his team is there to back him up. This freedom allows Steph to simply have fun in the present moment, setting the stage for a flow state experience. An overarching theme in Steph's ability to get into flow state so consistently comes down to one of Nilhe Chishna Mihai's most important principles, which was being completely involved in an activity for its own sake. Steph loves to play basketball, and it's obvious when you see him smiling, laughing, and overall acting like he's in a pickup game at his neighborhood park. And there's something for everyone to learn from the example he sets. Here's a quick recap on the flow triggers shared in this video. Intensely focused attention, clear goals, immediate feedback, the challenge skill ratio, high consequences, rich environment, deep embodiment, serious concentration, good communication, familiarity, risk, and sense of control. Thanks so much for watching this video. My name is Brandon Epstein from The Bee Mindset. If this video was helpful, please subscribe, like the video, drop your comments below and check out some other mindset breakdowns available on the screen now.